Hello again, Lily here. So today we're at Thorpe Park, about to go and have a look around, obviously, and ask some people about their thoughts on engineering here. So because the competition for tomorrow's Engineers Week is to design a ride, we're asking people what would be their dream ride if they had the chance to completely start from scratch and create something all from their imagination. One with like loads of loops and it was scary. And it's like fast and yeah. yeah like, and what, what would it do? Would it throw you around? You go like really fast, but as you come you like smash the football and like try and score and then you go up and then you I have no imagination. <laughs> I have zero imagination. So I think there'd be plenty of loops and it'd be fast. You'd have loads of loops in it. I think I'd go for a brand new concept. So um, at the moment, you know, in current like uh, current theme parks, especially ours and over in America, we do a lot with uh, theming them around films, stuff like that. I'll probably go for another concept. So it wouldn't be around a film; it'd just be something completely different. So a new concept of a ride and just a completely different uh, theme on its own. It'd be like most like sort of curves, because like that's like, like when you get enough speed, like that, and go into a new like, something like great big and fun, fast. Very lots of loops. Yeah, too many spins. L lots of loops and spins. Really unexpected sort of like twists and turns. It's kind of all about pushing like the boundaries to find something new that's going to entice more people to come to the attraction and actually spend time with us here. So yeah, I think we'd look to whatever, some new technology, um, a new uh, experience sort of type thing. It'd be like that one but a different colour. <laughs> Slow. I like, I like the... Uh... The uh, watery ones, the splashy ones. Had some interesting responses so far. Some people seem to know quite a lot about engineering and have some clear opinions on exactly the kind of ride they'd make. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Oh, it'd be fun because you get to like you get to work with other people, thinking of other ideas. It all should be hard trying to plan how things would work. Yeah, because I like working with like kind of stuff. Well, um, I would like to because it's like one of those jobs where it's like really creative and you can do anything you really want. And it's just one of those jobs I really want to be in. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, when I was younger, back in the day, I used to like play games like the roller coaster type thing and stuff. And I still have like designing roller coasters and all that. But I think anyone who's a theme park enthusiast, I think, obviously loves to get involved in the in sort of the design of roller coasters, etc., and stuff like that. And it would be a career that I'd be interested in, but it's obviously a lot of hard work that goes into it and um, sort of engineering qualifications and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, no, it's always been uh, sort of something that's been attracting to, to me to work in, definitely. Yeah, I mean, really, yeah, really cool. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So much safety to it. So yeah. 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 The design. Of the, design the design. Yeah. Okay. Like, I suppose yeah. coming up with the ideas and then sort of drawing out the rides and all that kind of part of it. I think in theory I'd like the I'd like the role itself, but I think it'd be the practicality of you know designing a ride that's obviously a, a feasible design if you know what I mean. So it'd be making something that's exciting but obviously safety pr uh, practical. Yes, it would. I'd so, like to do it. <laughs> If somebody had said you could build something like this, that would have probably uh, switched my mind on, but I didn't, nobody said that to me. <laughs> I would like, I would do it just to prove somebody that like <laughs> girls can do it. Uh, lots of maths, trigonometry, angles. Like okay. Yeah, I can tell it better. Also, say a lot of art as well. What? Art. So you've got like, design it right. Oh yeah, exactly. Depends yeah. what kind yeah. of engineer you are. Yeah. yeah. So like a civil engineer, they get given the blueprint. Like, yeah. Yeah. This is like a whole different type. It's more creative. So I suppose, yeah, yes, you have to be kind of creative to do these kind of rides. Yeah. yeah. Somebody who's clever and who can design something like this. You've got to have an imagination, but for the actual building of it, you've got to have an engineer's mind to actually, you know, stru like the structure. Both. It doesn't really come to mind. I don't really 
Mark Adam. Good answer, that's what we like to hear. Would you say the same? I don't think it matters, no. We're done here now, I've finished asking people some questions, so if you could answer in the comments below maybe what you would have answered to our questions, that would be great. <laughs>